Okay, let's talk about the Enkai last night. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, it was short. Uh, I started at 6 and I was home by 9 o'clock, so they didn't go out afterwards. Um, it was a sukiyaki restaurant and we did, uh, what was it, suba suba? I think they called it suba suba. It sounds, now that I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't sound like what it was, but basically suba suba, you have like the boiling water with all the junk in it and you take the meat and you suba suba, I guess that's the sound it makes, <laughs> and um, then you eat it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna suba suba mine in for like a couple more minutes until it's fully cooked. And they're like, oh, May Sensei, you're so silly. I'm like, I know, I'm hilarious. Um, so it was a celebration for the graduated sixth graders, but obviously the graduated sixth graders weren't there. So it was actually a celebration for a jungle gym teacher who was the who was the sixth grade teacher. So we were celebrating his accomplishments of doing that. Um, and we were, I think pretty much everyone was drinking, really. It was exciting. Um, I was seated next to Jumbo Jim Teacher, of course. Uh, we arrived at the same time, and they insisted we sit next to each other. Which was good, because I got to give him all of the food I didn't want. And he was very thankful for that, and he gave me all the food he didn't want. Which all happened to be stuff that I really liked. Um, <laughs> and it was really funny, we started talking about food I like. And I said that I, like, my ideal meal, like, the thing that I make for myself most often is, like, some form of meat on rice with broccoli. That's just, I, I love that. It tastes so good. And he thought it was so funny that I liked broccoli. And I was like, yeah, I, I really like broccoli. And he reported this to everyone, like, Mason said really likes broccoli. And they were all, like, laughing. And I was like, is there some... Some kind of stigma with liking broccoli? What's so funny about that? I didn't ever find out, but they thought it was hilarious. And of course, they were they were saying, you should marry Jungle Gym Teacher, because then he could make broccoli for you all the time. And I'm like, I guess he could. <laughs> this is really funny. Um, and they, they asked, one of the first things these people ever asked me was, um, to compare Jungle Gym Teacher and Guy Liner Teacher and say which type is more would be more popular in America. And so Jungle Gym Teacher has kind of like the typical pretty gorgeous Japanese man appearance. Um, so he's very popular in Japan. But Jungle Gym Teacher is like he's a football player and he's he's built in a much more manly way. So he's not terribly popular in Japan. So um, I explained, well, it's it's more likely that Jungle Gym Teacher would get a date than Guy Liner Teacher would. And um, they thought that was awesome. Like, they just thought it was so funny. Like, imagine that. <laughs> and, um, and they were like, why? And I said, I don't know, just because that's Personally, I wouldn't want to date someone who was prettier than me. And I was like, I think Guy Liner Teacher is prettier than I am. And they all thought that was really, really funny. And I was like, it's true, right? It's true. <laughs> um, and so let's see, they, they did like a little book. Oh, it was so cute. I, I have no idea what the book was about, but it was like a flip book where he there would be like a picture and like a story and then he'd like tell the story and then he'd turn the page and it would be like, oh, and this is the punchline, ha, ah! and then he'd do it again. I, there's a terrible explanation of what happened, but it was hilarious even though I didn't know what was going on and I just laughed and laughed and laughed, just laughing at their reactions because it was very, very funny. Um, and there were lots and lots of toasts and and silly conversation, and it was just very, very fun. Very fun. Um, and I worry about some teachers leaving. I don't want any of those people to leave, because, you know, I, as I was sitting there last night, I was like, this is, this is exactly why I don't want any, anyone to leave, because of the dynamic that is present right now. Just everything is so nice. <laughs> I don't want anything to change. Um, but the likelihood is that some people will change, and um, 
they, they won't find out until like spring vacation actually starts. So they, they won't know until they're like packing up their stuff to leave. And I was saying like, that's so mean that they shouldn't do that. You should find out beforehand. I think you should have like a month's notice or something just to like, to not only say goodbye to people, but also like to, to just get all your stuff together because spring vacation is only two weeks and you find out like two days into it and you have to like move into the new school and prepare the lesson and you have like a whole new group of kids like if you move to a different city and you're teaching a different grade it's like you, there's there's so much that has to be done in under two weeks and it's just I I don't know how they do it frankly I can't imagine um, so yeah so the next time I see that group of people it will probably have a couple of alterations and that is so sad I don't want any of them to leave. And I said that, I was like, why, do, why, why? <laughs> but, but they were like, well, it's just, it's how we do things. And I was like, fine, fine. <sighs> so then it was time to go home. And I was, the teacher who drove me also drank that night. But they have this thing in Japan. I don't know if it's in America too, or if it's in other countries, but, um, you call a service and then two guys come over in a car and one guy drives your car home and then you drive I think in your own car or maybe in the service car and they drive back to your house and drop you off and then the two guys leave in the car and I think that's a fabulous idea it definitely prevents people from drunk driving I think um, so I was gonna go with him and they were gonna drop me off at my place and then go to his place and that just seemed like such a hassle and then one of the other teachers who hadn't been drinking was like oh well I live like three streets away from her I was like really I didn't know that but her son was a ninth grader at my junior high school last year so um, if you remember he was Harry Potter kid he was way too cool for everyone um, but yeah, that, that's a long time ago. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I remember that. So she's like, I could just give you a ride home because you live right by the junior high school. And I'm like, yes, I do. So um, it was kind of funny. We, we've never really had a conversation. We had a conversation like when she first came to the school and she was like, oh, my son goes to the junior high school. And I was like, oh, that's exciting. And we would occasionally talk about, talk and stuff, but her English isn't so great. But you know, it's been like a year since we've tried to like actually sit down and have a conversation. So my Japanese has gotten much better over the past year. So I was like, cool, we can talk. So the ride home was like 15 minutes and we had like a fun little conversation. And you know, the whole time she's trying to set me up with jungle gym teacher because I swear like, it's the only thing these women want to do. It's the only thing. Because you know, there's jungle gym teacher, there's guy letter teacher, me, and then everyone else is, <laughs> is like an older woman. Not, not old women, but just like older women who are married already and therefore they want to get me with one or the other. Mostly jungle gym teacher. Most, most of them want me to be with jungle gym teacher. So she's like, he, he's so sweet, isn't he? And he's so good with kids and that's really important. And I'm like, I agree, it is really important. And he, she's like, yeah, I mean, so would you ever consider dating him? <laughs> and I kind of looked at her and I was like, well, if he asked me, I would say yes. And she was like, oh, what? And I'm like, but he has to ask me. And I don't think he will, because he's too shy. And she's like, really? Oh, do you mind if I tell everyone that? And I was like, I, if I say you're not allowed to tell everyone, then, then this will hurt you. This, this, this secret will bring you pain. So yes, you can tell everyone that. <laughs> So, so she's like, that's so exciting! So if he asked you out, you would say yes? And I was like, yes, I, I probably would. <laughs> so that, that was really, that, that was an interesting conversation. Um, and she was really excited. And so when she dropped me off, she was like, bye! And so there's no school today. Today is the day off from school. But there's still Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And she's going to go into that school uh, tomorrow. And she is just going to burst and make that news be known. So, if you stayed until the end of this video, then, then, then that, that's the, the big secret. <laughs> uh, okay, so.
so we'll see what happens. But I won't be going back to that school until after spring vacation, so. So who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, so as I said, the day is off today. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have uh, junior high school. Friday is a big, um, like, ceremony, like, goodbye, um, school for, for spring vacation because they're all going to become one grade older. So that's going to be not so fun, but but you got to do it. You just got to do it. And I, th I think I have to wear a suit again for that. One teacher told me I have to wear a suit and one teacher told me I don't have to. So I'm just going to bring the suit and leave it in the locker and see what everyone else does. And if I'm the only one who's not in a suit, then I'll change. But if there are other people not wearing suits, then I'll be like, yay, hoodie. No, it won't be a hoodie. It'll be something nice. Relatively. <laughs> I want to wear a hoodie every day of my life. <laughs> anyway, that's all. See you tomorrow for my half day. Goodbye.